Morning, my friends. Today is Friday, December 30th. It's the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I'm outside after our, you know, extreme low temperatures last week. Uh, now it's very temperate uh, here in Chicagoland. Looks like it will be for a couple of weeks, which is great. Each day, each week, we get through uh, winter time around here and uh, above freezing temperatures is a bonus. Also, Sunday, January 1st, last day to register for season six of Be Formed. We're gonna have some, uh, our own Bishop Hicks will be presenting one of the weeks, and we may have some other bishops uh, participating in, uh, in doing some of the teaching. Our bishops are the, the main teachers of the church, so um, I think it's gonna be a great season. Um, I recently had a 22-year-old come up to me after mass, and he said, it really struck me what you said in the homily. And I said, well, you know, it always piques my interest when people say that. And I said, well, what struck you? And he said, uh, you said that our spouse cannot fill, fulfill our deepest desires. And I think many of us go into life and dating thinking that, you know, my spouse is going to make me happy. And a great marriage yeah, is, a, is a wonderful thing and can make us very happy. But our ultimate happiness can only be found in Jesus. So when two people make Jesus the center of their individual lives, that's when they find true happiness. Um, I know in my own life, you know, I was I was chasing after, you know, Thomas Aquinas has the four substitutes for God, honor, power, pleasure, and wealth. I was chasing after honor, pleasure, and wealth. I wasn't too much into power, uh, but I can, I was going after the other three and, you know, I, got a degree in math, I have a master's degree in sports administration, um, was making good money as an actuary. Then I went into the front office in baseball, my salary got cut in half. <laughs> then I got another master's degree in divinity, became a priest and my salary got cut in half again. And <laughs> I remember my dad saying, he said, Burke, I thought with more education, your money, your salary would go higher and yours is going this way. And I said, Dad, but the fulfillment has gone through the roof. I couldn't be more happier. And what I've, what I've found is happiness is not a product of um, material things, honor, power, pleasure, and wealth, but happiness is about Jesus. It's about making the Lord the center of our lives. And that's what marriage and family is all about. As we celebrate this feast day of uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the holy family, we think about, is my family based on or following the example of the holy family in other words the goals of marriage are to help your spouse and your children get to heaven we see how joseph and mary laid down their lives for one another to, to joseph to protect his wife um, both of them to you know raise this gift that god had given them uh, in the faith and so they were after heaven that was their main goal and I think in our culture today, we do a great job of, you know, math and science and English, all of the STEM classes and getting college prep and, or if I'm in sports, you know, getting the best coaches, you know, it's all about, if we think about it, it comes down to honor, power, pleasure, and wealth. Um, but are we doing such a good job of raising our kids in the faith to come to know Jesus? Because honor, power, pleasure, and wealth will last this long on earth. Uh, eternity goes on forever. And so I really want us to ask ourselves, am I helping my spouse get to heaven? Am I helping my children get to heaven because they are gifts from God? It doesn't mean we stop doing STEM and, and sports and things. No, you still do that, but make your priority Jesus. It's Jesus that'll make you happy in this life and in the next. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, help us to found our families and follow the example of the Holy Family. Help us to seek holiness. Help us to seek heaven more than anything. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Uh, to enter your family, Buen Camino. I've got my Mississippi State uh, shirt on going to be in the bowl game against the University of Illinois, my home state, on January 2nd. So lots of good football these days. God bless you and God bless your families.
Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, pray for us.